Good evening, Cynthia Crook Pick, 700 Cherry Farm Road. I have a question that just came up here. Since you're going to have a meeting after this meeting, is that correct? So, Oleg, will you remove yourself from that meeting since you'll be discussing Invenergy? No. I thought you were... Recused. That relates to the planning board. Oops. Oh, that was the planning board. That, the, the, whether it relates to the town council is up to the town council. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, I have a very simple question for all of you. On the surface, it appears the elected officials of this town council is not representing the interests of the citizens of Barville. Who voted for you? All of you. Why? And I want an answer. Is the town council, except for Kimberly Brown, thank you. Why is the town council in favor of the power plant when the rest of the town is not? Please answer me. I'd like an answer. Nope. I'd like to answer. Thank you. I'd like to say that... We can't hear you. I'm sorry. I would like to say I don't think there is anyone in this community, ourselves included, who is enthusiastic about having a second power plant in this community. Oh my You're letting me know. Now, I'm trying to answer that, and we have listened very respectfully mm -hmm. to every one of you. I would ask that you listen for just a couple of minutes. Okay. We agree. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. I think that as elected officials, and it was quoted to us earlier, mm -hmm. we did take an oath mm -hmm. to uphold the ordinances of this town and the laws of the state of Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. This is a mandated process through the state of Rhode Island. As such, we are being asked to give advisory opinions. We cannot give an advisory opinion until we get the remainder of the information that is coming, including the information that, as you have pointed out, or as people have pointed out this evening, consultants have not gotten answers back to Wind Energy yet. They're still waiting for information from them. We're waiting for the planning board to finish the process, which hopefully will be done on July 11th. It will then have to go to the zoning board. Understood. Until we get all of that information in, we are not going to make a formal recommendation, and that's what we're saying. However, I don't, as I said, I don't think there is anyone, <coughs> including at this table, who is wildly enthusiastic about this power plant. And you understand why I'm asking the question. I do understand. And I'm not trying to be rude. And, and you do understand why I'm, I hope, I'm saying, I'm speaking for the council in this I hear respect. you, but I don't. But you don't believe me. I, it's really, and, and forgive me for saying this, because I want to trust people. And the biggest thing in my life is I cannot stand a liar. And it's one of my most vehement things that I cannot handle. People who lie. And there are a few people here that actually invited this monster into our town and created this tornado. And now we're faced here trying to figure out what the hell do we do? And we need guidance from you. You've elected, been elected by us. We need your support. You killed our bill in the Senate. You made us look like idiots, and I'm not trying to be rude here, but what do we do? And we're supposed to trust you now? As I watch Attorney McElroy wave to the Invenergy lawyers coming the other night at the planning board meeting, come on in, fellas. What does that say to us? I would, I would like your opinion, Like, What does that say to us? Whose side are these people on? I can't answer your question. I want to do I understand that I just gave you the blow-by-blow -blow description. If you look at the video, you'll see it. He's saying hello to them as they're coming in. I understand attorney's attorney, but that's ridiculous. Yeah, there was no video. Yeah, yeah. Rhode Island's a very small community. Okay, but... but Kimberly, you're saying hello. I... Kimberly, we, we, we've got the planning board on one side. We've got Invenergy and our experts on the other side. Yeah. Appearance is everything, right? Appearance is everything, including the court of law. It, it is everything. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm very, very upset, and I understand that I respect your your commentary on that, but it's hard for us. You're going to have to earn our trust, and I guess the polls will tell the story at the end. 
Thank you for your time. Thank you.